In this lesson we're going to talk about the switch statement, okay? So the switch statement is pretty much the same as an if else statement and it's more efficient uh, in handling different options that, uh, if you've got a very long um, if else um, conditions and so on. So we'll use the switch uh, as an example here now. Okay, we'll do an example. We'll start with the include stdio.h and we start with now the main function again we open it with a curly brace we start declaring a char variable letter and we say printf enter any single character okay so we're going to ask a user to enter a single character so we're going to use the scanf like we mentioned before the percent %c for capturing a character and we use the AND letter to insert the value of what the user has entered into the variable called letter okay so now we do a little condition using the switch simply you just write switch the syntax is just you enter the variable between the brackets and like I said no um, semicolon at all here we just start with every statement we have with a curly brace or if it's a function the same thing again now we do case a print f letter now I'm going to introduce something if I haven't mentioned it before I did mention it in PHP uh, but I'll, I'll mention it here again just in case if you've forgotten okay so you notice I've used the backslash here okay backslash ignores the next uh, character which is the quotation marks so it ignores that quotation marks and it allows it to go through now in PHP it's okay if we use the single quote and a double quote and it's fine but here in C it, you know you need to use the backslash to ignore uh, the quotations if it's single quote or a double quote same thing in PHP you wouldn't use it unless you was using double quotes if this was double quotes here and you want to, to get the program to ignore the double quotes otherwise it would the, the program would think this is the end of the line so it would just come up to here and it would stop and then it would create an error on the rest so if you want it to ignore you would use this uh, escape escape character okay but in this case we're using single quotes and we're using the escape character backslash as well okay so that's covered so we've got the first test so we're going to do another test and we're going to say B and same thing again printf letter single quote B backscape character found new line and we say break again Break just stops where where it you know it's executed. It doesn't carry on. Otherwise, it would just keep on going. Again, so you put C now, and we say print F. Just noticed we've misspelled print F up here. Print F here, and again we put letter C and escape key again. Escape character found new line again we use a break here to end this line and that's it and then you know we can we can have something more generic at the end we can just keep on going or we just have a stop so we've now tested if it's a b or c if it's not a b or c so we use the default default is is like writing else remember if in in the previous example I used the else at the end and I said look none of the conditions were met 
the default is exactly the same so here it would just say printf and we say the letter is not a b or c and we start a new line just to end everything and we just that's it that's that program that's the switch program and we're going to test it so let's test it now so we save as and we call it switch switch okay so we call it switch we try to run it now compile no errors fantastic great we go now to build okay it's all done and now we go to the C prompt CD C examples the IRW well we've got quite a lot now so what did we call this one we called it switch so let's try switch should ask us to enter a single character we say A and it says letter A found we try running the program again and we put F and it says the letter is not A, B or C try it one more time put C and it says letter C found so that's the switch uh, example here and we'll now we'll move on to the other um, statements which are the loops